Hex Club. Make sure everybody welcome to Zell. Uh, it is by Tiny Roar and published by Ass Assemble Entertainment. And it is a demo right now out on Steam as part of Steam Next Fest. And it's slated for some sort of release coming uh, July 12th. I don't know if it's going to be early access or what it's going to be. Um, and also, unlike most of the other uh, videos I put out this week, I have not played any of this yet. This is my very, very, very first look at the game. Um, but it looks like it's some sort of uh, action-adventure game, you know, with some puzzles. A top-down kind of thing going on. Uh, so, we'll see. We'll see together here what everything, or what it looks like and how, how it plays. So, I will give it... Uh, the usual half an hour and uh, we'll see what we what we end up with game game yes there's not much in the way of uh, settings there was only audio and language so I can tell you just from what I'm looking at uh, the Graphics are kind of crappy. <laughs> They're very pixely, Ugh, even on my side. Notch, would ya? Oh, what the? And who are you anyway? Nice to meet you, chap. My name is. Wait. I am. I. Who am I? Oh no, 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 this can't be happening. I don't even recall this place. Am I in a freaking forest? And what the hell am I doing in a crashed spaceship? If I'm something like a fancy astronaut, I seem to really suck at it. All right, breathe. There's an explanation for everything. One thing after the other. Where the heck are we, little guy? The garden? Whose garden exactly? Cell? Just X-E-L? Doesn't ring a bell, but it seems you know what you're talking about. All right, little buddy. Let's check out this garden and look for that mysterious cell person. Let's hope they have the tools to remove this rock that hurts like hell out of my face. Okay, can I get like an actual um, options here? Okay, they have the controls here. Inventory system. All right, I'm gonna assume it's WASD to move. Um, no options. The only options were the ones that I saw before. Unfortunate. Okay. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm getting the pixely nonsense too. Uh, maybe it was just that intro video was like at a really poor resolution. Stretch. So, hopefully that was just that. I mean, right now in game it seems to be seems to be a lot better. Um... So, it's the roll. Can't seem to be able to hit anything. To be honest, this place is really beautiful. In a weird and kind of creepy way. So, still with escape. But, uh, the shield... These are the worst. They're probably the worst controls I think I've ever seen in a game. Uh, well, 
my controller here. Let's see if it'll. Okay, so it just just takes it. That yeah, those controls are obviously they obviously did those controls that way so that they force you to use a controller. <laughs> That's the we really we really don't want you to use the the, the mouse and keyboard. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna give you the worst controls we can dream up. Of dream up so that you are forced to use something that then <laughs> that's how what I take that as um you roll yeah. okay so our you to roll there's no jump apparently not There's an interact, but I'm not being able to interact with it. I think. Yuck! 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 Why is this so warm? Warm water? <laughs> I mean, I assume. Anything here? I don't get so far there's not a lot going on. Not uh not overly impressed here. I can't reach the ladder from here. Seems like I need to find another way for now. What the hell am I supposed to do here? I mean, obviously I'm supposed to come this way. There is another path over here. Can't get up. See, I'm supposed to get this ladder down. What a the uh, interact is a nothing. I've I've not been able to interact with anything. There's been nothing for me to interact with yet. Been, can't attack anything. So far, we're not starting off on a very good footing. I think uh, I think they're going to need to revisit their intro here because if it takes me more than thirty seconds to feel like I'm making progress, at the very beginning of a game, then. It's going to be likely that people are going to just throw this. It's going to not continue. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Like, there's, like, I'm all over the place here. And there is nothing, there's nothing to interact with. There's no prompt. Like, do I, do I have to keep going around hitting A on everything and hoping that I interact with something? Do I have to go under this pipe? Can't under that pipe. I 
What about over there? Uh, can't get up here though, right? Oh, but I can jump across that wood. So she automatically jumps, which is not I'm not a fan of. But okay, it is what it is, I guess. Trying to prevent you from getting into areas you're not supposed to get into. Push a box over there? No. Those boxes don't want to move. Do anything there? I mean, I'm hitting every button. Nothing's happening. So, this is not a good start. Like, you gotta, like, introduce people to the world or something here. You know, like, introduce them to the mechanics. But what's going on? This is, this is not working. Like, I see a chest up there. But I have no way of getting up. That I know of. Here. At least the game hasn't, hasn't told me that I have a way of getting up. I mean, throw me some kind of bone here. You know what I mean? Like, at least, at least make it so that I know how things interact in the world. Hmm. What to do? I really don't know what to do. I have anything in my inventory? the area to find a way out of the place well I'd love to know how to get out of this place I, mean, I feel like that ladder is the important piece I'm supposed to get to it. One of these interact with any of these either. Down here was it something I was supposed to get out of my on my ship. Can't even see anything down here. Apparently there's some sort of time mechanic here uh, as well, which would explain like maybe I would uncrumble, say, that debris over by the ship there. And I'd be able to get up top or something. But nothing, like I said, nothing. I mean, you guys have seen exactly what I'm saying. Like nothing has been introduced at all yet. Push anything. Can't interact with anything. Wait a minute. Let me see. Each was interact for the for the board. Just because I switched over. like I'm maybe supposed to get over there so let's try I can jump here I can probably jump this I need to interact what? well this 
this button looks pretty punchy. Oh, well, that's okay. No death trap. I'm almost a little bummed out right now. Okay. Why is there so much tech in a forest? This looks easy to break, but not with bare hands. to make it this sprawling at the very beginning like couldn't they have just put these things like right next to one another i feel like i'm doing a whole lot of walking around without any real this point no forest? Here's storage that. for what why do i even ask This is this just storage area? Keep going. Ugh, my head. I think this thing. Okay. Run to save file. Wow. That's much better. It looks pretty when it's fixed what does this pillar do exactly chap chronal energy distributing it what does this even mean okay there's an automatic interaction there Hold down A for that one. Hey! Why is it shooting at me? Ooh. Okay. I don't care who it thinks I am. here yeah this is one of the few times you'll hear me say this but they really need to tighten up this first area like this is way too this is way too large especially for you're, you're trying to get a feel for the game and it's just a whole lot of just like I'm walking around so much that I'm like, I'm clearly doing something wrong. Like, I keep feeling like I'm doing something wrong. Because, like, the individual tutorial pieces are, like, ten miles apart. You know what I mean? It's just... Like, they could really tighten up this area a whole hell of a lot. Um, that it's not so crawling because you know i'm no slouch to the gaming i play lots of games and this game is like <laughs> it feels like it feels like it's a a marathon simulator right it's like run 26 miles to the next the next tutorial prompt right that requires something Holy hell, what am I... 
<laughs> and that's the, you know, the worst part of it is I'm bored. Right? It's like we're going this whole big long path. Like, hey, we finally got up to this part, part that I saw before, right? Key card. And I like the gameplay. I like what they're doing. But man, are they just, is it like super boring? Like, I don't know. Make your character run faster or reduce the size of this area or something. Because, man, it's like, like, look at all this crap on the ground. Like, it's cool. It's atmospheric, but damn, man, like <laughs> spending spending twenty minutes just sitting here staring at at the site. Like you couldn't tighten this up a little bit and make it you know make it far more Can I jump across that? Apparently I can. Alright. I don't like the automatic jumping. Like, if there was one major mechanic I would say in the game that they need to fix, it's get rid of the automatic jump. Like, it, because it doesn't make... Like, it's not intuitive, right? Like, it sounds like it would be intuitive. Like, oh yeah, you just come up to a spot that you can jump and you'll jump. But honestly, it's just not because you don't know what spots are blessed as spots you can jump from. You know? So I would just give the player the ability to just jump on their own. And then all these things would make so much more sense. I, I wouldn't have gotten so trapped in that first area. Well, that and, you know, Making the area a lot smaller uh, would be would be beneficial as well. Like, look, look how sprawling this thing. Is. Like, this is this is unnecessarily sprawling. Like, I like I like artwork and I like all that stuff, and I get that you know a lot of time and effort's been put into the art here, and I appreciate it. But damn, you could have had like <laughs> we could have been on like level four by now with how much crap you've shoved into this one area, right? It's like, it's just, it's, it's filler. You know, it doesn't have the same impact as it would if they, you know, there was more to do here. Also, nothing that's interactable stands out from everything else. Like, uh, it's a little too, I mean, I guess these kind of stand out. These consoles here. But a lot of stuff is just too subtle. Like, even those console colors are too subtle. Like, I feel like putting some kind of flourish on them or something would be very beneficial. Hey. Shiny thing up ahead. Let's check it out. Lord, we've we've run like twenty miles, and I'm just now getting a weapon. <laughs> I, it, it, I'm. It's just hilarious to me because it's like, of all the things to be complaining about, I'm complaining about how long and boring and arduous this the running is here. And then you know, I keep thinking like, oh, I keep getting shades of like Zelda and every time I keep thinking about it, I'm like you know in Zelda 1 so they literally the first like you trash. walk you walk like what five steps and you get your weapon <laughs> you know what I mean? and this one's like no we're gonna make you go through all of this crap just to get your weapon it's just like holy crap man Oh yeah, these uh, these pre-rendered cutscenes are 
Oof. Another man's trash? Is this gal's way to kick some ass? Yeah, those pre-rendered cutscenes are at a very low resolution. Uh, not do the encoding too well on those. Junk blade, a blade that lost its edge a long time ago. Swing with B and target your enemies with LT. Does that mean we can finally have some action here? Because, man, I'm getting bored already. Down left trigger to target them. Not hmm. On purpose. hmm. It's not just a left trigger toggle, it's you have to actually hold it down. Uh not a huge fan of that. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Seems like we're taking this way now. Green circuit board. <laughs> I'm like, let me let me break these boxes, and I like it's can't see anything. Yeah, the game is definitely suffering from a lot of KSS, right? Can't see shit. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this place. Especially right here, like, hmm, is that really necessary? Again, I feel like I get that they want to show off their art style and artwork and all that stuff, and that's great and all. But man, you gotta you gotta make a game that is playable too. You. So, oh, RB to roll controls are. I'm not a fan of the way they have the control set up. Like, if B to attack, RB to roll, and then you have to hold down left trigger to target them. That's the like. I hope you've got. I hope you got three hands because you need three hands to play this game. It also does this save point stuff, which I'm not a fan of on PC either. And it's like, look, it's a PC. I should be able to just save anywhere. Which I wonder if you can save from it. No, you can just load. That's that's annoying too. That's really annoying. The game manages to do a lot of annoying things. I feel like they maybe were not targeting PC. And they thought, oh, we'll just throw it on a PC anyway. And it's like, mm, you gotta like put some thought into, into things here. Ah! 
ですね Hold down the button. Why would I need to switch target? But yeah, look, I have to hold it down. So why would I need to switch target button? <laughs> you know what I mean? Goes our hope to find a human in this place. Oh, it's a I dead, hope it's okay if I person. borrow this from you for a bit. This should give us some protection against lasers and other crap they throw at us. All right, shield with right trigger. Okay, so I'll help us get through the other part. like 90 miles away. What the? Oh. I know, I'm using... The shield works just in one direction? What? That worked. Why is my shield not working? They not what? the hell? I have the the thing for this field. So did it just completely forget everything that happened? Forgot everything that happened because I didn't didn't actually save. It didn't save when I when I picked up a major thing. I'll take that. Not only did it not save, it didn't have a save point up there, which is a bit weird. I didn't see one up here. There goes our hope to find and a there's human our, There's our shield again. 
Yeah, there's no safe point up here. That's that's a bad design too. Like there should be they should have at least put a save point up here so that once you've grabbed a very important piece of your equipment that you would immediately then save when you're right there. Instead of relying on you remembering to save here. Wait, there's some there's some lack of quality of life things here. Um, which I mean, obviously, it, for a demo, you're not going to get all the quality of life, but there's just some like there's some basic things that I'm just like, if you haven't gotten those, now why does this now why I don't get that like. It does why does that shield not work? Is it does it have a power supply or something? Is that what's going on? Like I have like a certain amount of power for it? I don't see anything on the screen that suggests that there's a power for that, but apparently there was some, like maybe the shield only takes so many hits and then it goes down, which is weird. They didn't mention that anywhere. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of quality of life issues, I think, in the game. I would say a ton of quality of life issues. All right. Well, we've done a half an hour on it. It's unfortunate that the game is, has drug, drug itself out this much because it feels like feels like we're on the cusp of actually seeing what the what the game has to offer. Uh, but at the same time, it feels like it's stretching itself out to unnatural length. You know what I mean? Like I would love to sit here and and keep on rolling forward, but it's like. Yeah, hundreds of demos out, you know, to take a look at. And if a game can't show you what it's worth in a half an hour, then it's gonna get it's gonna get ignored, you know, it's gonna get overlooked. And that's unfortunate because I think there's some good a good framework here. I think they've just uh, I think they I think they really need to look at what they're what they're doing. I think I think the biggest problem with this game right now is it has a lot of quality of life. Um, it's way too sprawling, for especially for a tutorial area. Um, it's uh, the art gets in the way. Um, the auto jump is just a terrible idea. Um, unless you unless you make the art. Unless you make the areas where you can jump far more obvious, uh, that you you can use those as jumping points. But even then, I would say it's it's not worth it. Just give us a jump button and, and be done with it. Make A the jump button and be done with it. Um, and uh, some of the button mappings aren't great. RB to roll is I guess standard sort of. RT to block is. It is what it is, I guess. Um, it just feels like things are just spread out for no reason. Be spread out. Um, I would almost even... I would almost even, like, put, like, the attack on the left trigger. Even though I don't particularly like that, that formation. Like, I, I prefer, like, attack on, you know, the A or B button. Uh, if you're going to have jumping in the game, then jumping definitely has to be on the A button, for my for my purposes. But uh, yeah, so the controls need to be rethought out better. The keyboard controls definitely need to be redone because that is just that is atrocious. Like like I would never release something on PC 
with those keyboard controls. That that's just that <laughs> every PC's got a mouse, okay? And you gotta imagine that any PC player who's gonna play with their keyboard is gonna play with the mouse as well. So anything that doesn't take into account the mouse as long as well as the keyboard as, as both inputs and structures the keys in such a way that it all makes sense, you know, is fooling itself. Um, and, um, yeah, I, it just, this is probably one of the weirdest, um, feedback thing, right? Like, cause it's like, it, it's like they, it's like the devs only cherry pick some things from actual games and then kind of went a little bit nutso on the wrong stuff right it's 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 very strange it's like like i said like it took me what 25 minutes to get my to get my weapon whereas you know anyone who's playing this game is going to compare it to probably initially to like zelda stuff like that right and like zelda gives you your weapon in what first 30 seconds to, you know, I mean, led, a link to the past, it took you what, like two to three minutes to get your first weapon? Like, I, it's like, makes no sense to me to, to, to have something that important be that spread out and be that kind of non obvious. Um, and this feels like one of those situations where they really need people to actually, who aren't devs, to actually play it. Uh, people who actually play these types of games actually play the game because they're way too close to it and they're you know things that are making sense probably to the devs don't make sense to anyone else anywhere else. um you know it's just it's one of those things it's like i can't i can't fathom how you could play other games like this then make a game that doesn't incorporate any of the quality of life stuff of those games you know what I mean? Like it just it it boggles my mind a little bit. Um, how little feedback this game gives you and how little things just, you know, uh pop out. Um I'm always gonna give a negative to a game that on PC that has a checkpointing system. Um especially one like this that where the checkpoints are spread out over a vast distance and aren't very useful or helpful um you know like let me save anywhere it, it's a pc let me save anywhere i mean even on console now like the amount of space the amount of disk space you use for save games is so minimal even on consoles at this point like just let people save anywhere it, it, you know if your design relies on people not being able to save everywhere you've got a bad design period end of story <laughs> you know what i mean that's just the way it is um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, you know, what's here is decent and good. It's just either very rushed or just missing a whole lot of just tender loving care, you know, um, is what I'd have to say for that. So uh, it, it feels like, it feels like it's an art project, not a, a game. You know, uh, honestly, uh, is what it seems like here. I, w I would expect something like this from like a student game, not something from, you know, someone who's trying to make a, a commercially, commercially viable product. And even then, student games tend to get short, tend to be short, sweet, and to the point. Even even then, so I, you know, who knows? Anyway, this, my friends, has been Zell. It is by Tiny Roar and published by Assemble Entertainment. Uh, it's a demo right now out on Steam, part of the Steam Next Fest, and uh, you can go take take a look at it for yourself. And also, it's scheduled for some sort of release. I, I imagine early access, hopefully, hopefully early access, given what I've played on uh, July the twelfth. So, as always, I will leave links down in the description so you can do your own due diligence. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next.